welcome back to my channel in this video we'll discuss about the electron configurations of lanthanum and lanthanides the different exceptional cases of electron configurations in lanthanum and lanthanides let us start without wasting much time you know lanthanum is present in sixth period and third group of periodic table and lanthanides from atomic number 58 to 71 are placed at the bottom of the predictable to avoid the undue expansion of the predictable. After lanthanum, you will find hafnium and atomic number of hafnium is 72. So in between 57 and 72, you will find 14 elements from atomic number 58 to 71 are placed at the bottom of the predictable. Now we will discuss about the electron configurations of lanthanum and these 14 lanthanides. You know, electrons are filled in various orbitals in the increasing order of their energies. The orbital with lowest energy is filled first. In case of lanthanum, the 57th electron should enter in 4F, but the 57th electron enters in 5D. So, lanthanum is a D block element that is in third transition series. Why the 57th electron enters in 5D instead of 4F? Let us discuss. In case of lanthanum, the nuclear charge due to 57 protons is not sufficient to overcome the repulsion between the inner electrons and the 57th electron. So 57th electron cannot enter in 4F, rather it enters in 5D. It is also known to all the energy difference between 4F and 5D is very small. So 57th electron of lanthanum enters in 5D. So its electron configuration becomes 6s to 5d1 after lanthanum from cerium to lutetium from atomic number 58 to 71 are placed at the bottom of the predictable let us start the electron configuration of these lanthanides in case of cerium the atomic number of cerium is 58 so the 58 electron enters in 4f overcoming the repulsion between inner electrons and the 58 electron in case of praseodymium, the atomic number is 59. So, 57th, 58th and 59th, these three electrons enter in 4F because here the nuclear charge due to 59 protons is sufficient to overcome the repulsion from the inner electrons. So, the electron configuration becomes 6S2, 4F3 and 5d becomes zero then up to europium atomic number 63 4f is progressively filled in case of neodymium the electron configuration becomes 6s2 4f4 and xenon is present at the core in 4f in case of promethium the atomic number of promethium is 61 and its electron configuration becomes 6s2 4f5 and there is no electron in 5d in case of samarium the atomic number is 62 and its electron configuration is generated at the core 6s2 5d 0 4f6 in case of europium the electron configuration becomes 6s2 5d0 4f7 up to europium f is progressively filled from praseodymium in case of gadolinium the atomic number is 64 and its electron configuration is 6s2 5d1 4f7 as you know, exactly half field 4F7 is more stable due to exchange energy and symmetry. So, one electron is present in 5D. In case of terbium, 
the electron configuration becomes 6s2 5d0 4f9 in case of dysprosium the electron configuration is 6s2 4f10 in case of holmium the electron configuration is 6s2 4f11 in case of erbium the electron configuration becomes 6s2 5d0 4f12 in case of thulium the atomic number is 69 and its electron configuration becomes xenon at the core 6s2 5d0 4f13 in case of atrium the electron configuration becomes 6s2 5d0 4f14 and in case of lutetium the electron configuration becomes 6s2 4f14 5d1 on xenon at the core and 4f14 5d1 according to above principle here electrons are filled in the increasing order of their energies you see in lanthanides you won't find any element having 4f2 or 4f8 configuration you won't find any element having 4f2 or 4f8 configuration 